45 Great Dane Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Great Dane's bones typically require about two years to completely mature following their birth, so it's wise to avoid high-energy activities for your Dane puppy during this time. Number 2. It's really important to pay special attention to what you feed your Great Dane, considering they're such a big breed. Following their specific dietary needs is a must, because if you don't, it could lead to orthopedic issues like hip dysplasia and osteoarthritis down the road. Number 3. Because Great Danes are such big dogs, they have a fast metabolism, which means they need more energy and food for their size compared to smaller pups. But here's the thing, just like other large breeds, they can be at risk of a condition called gastric dilatation valvulus, also known as bloat. Number 4. According to the University's Federation for Animal Welfare, about 42% of Great Danes can develop bloats. And what's really important to know is that out of that 42%, about 13% don't make it if they don't get the right treatment. Number 5. To keep your big-hearted Danes safe from bloat, try giving them two or three small meals a day instead of just one big feast. And after they've enjoyed their meal time, it's a good idea to let them relax for at least an hour. Number 6. Many owners choose to have their Dane's stomach surgically attached to the abdominal wall in order to prevent more severe complications associated with bloating. Number 7. Great Danes can also be extra sensitive to heart problems like dilated cardiomyopathy and many other congenital heart conditions, which has earned them the nickname the heartbreak breed. Number 8. Because of their big size, Great Danes can get heated up faster than smaller dogs, putting them at a higher risk of heat stroke. To keep your Dane cool and comfy, make sure they've got a shady spot to hang out, lots of nice cold water to sip on, and skip the intense play when the weather's too hot. Number 9. Great Danes can be sensitive not just to heat, but also to cold temperatures due to their short coats and lean bodies. So make sure you provide them with extra protection during chilly weather. Number 10. Great Dane puppies born at just 1 or 2 pounds can reach nearly 100 pounds within their first 6 months of life. Number 11. Since Great Danes are on the big side, there's a golden rule for their weight once they're over 18 months of age, 120 pounds for males and 100 pounds for females. Number 12. In a notable change, the American Kennel Club has shifted its emphasis for Great Danes. They've moved away from enforcing a minimum weight requirement and instead are directing their attention towards a distinct characteristic. Yep, the male Great Danes should present a more substantial appearance characterized by a larger frame and a more robust bone structure when compared to their female counterparts. Number 13. According to Dr. Stanley Quirin's comprehensive ranking of dog intelligence out of 208 different breeds, Great Danes secured the 48th position. These majestic Dogs typically require around 25 to 40 repetitions to grasp new commands and manage to succeed on their first try about half the time. Number 14. According to the AKC's list of most popular dog breeds of 2022, the Great Dane is the 19th most popular dog breed out of 199 breeds in America. Number 15. Great Danes rarely bark. They reserve their woofs for moments when they're genuinely concerned about something, like alerting you to possible danger or giving a friendly warning to anything they find suspicious. Number 16. In the mid-16th century, European nobility imported strong, leggy dogs from England, bred from a mix of English Mastiffs and Irish Wolfhounds. Known as English Adoka or Englischer Hund in Germany, which translates to English Dog, they gradually became linked with Molossoi dogs in France and Germany. German nobility independently began breeding these dogs in the early 17th century, distinct from English practices. And these are the dogs we know today as Great Danes. Number 17. Great Danes had a dual role in Germany's noble courts. Beyond their hunting skills, they stood guard and offered protection. They slept in their lord's bedrooms at night, wearing gold-adorned collars lined with plush velvet. They also helped protect the royalty as they slept from possible dangers like assassins. Number 18. As hunting methods evolved, especially with the use of firearms, Great Danes, initially employed for their hunting prowess, experienced a decline in their hunting duties. Over time, they became rare and were then bred to be primarily kept as a hobby or luxury pet. Number 19. Great Danes rank among the world's tallest dog breeds. The males typically reach heights of at least 30 inches at the shoulder, while females reach heights of at least 28 inches. Number 20. In dog shows and competitions, Great Danes not meeting the specified height requirements are disqualified. These standards, established by kennel clubs, also underline the importance of maintaining a balanced square proportion between a Great Dane's length and height. Number 21. As a result of their astounding size, the Great Danes have also earned the nickname Apollo of Dogs. Number 22. Zeus, a Great Dane, holds the record for the world's tallest dog. As confirmed by Guinness World Records, at just two years old, Zeus measured nearly 44 inches tall at the shoulder 
and an incredible 7 feet when standing on his hind legs. Number 23. Before Zeus took the spotlight, it's fascinating to note that the title of the tallest living dog has been often claimed by none other than majestic Great Danes. Among the impressive list of previous record holders were Gibson, Titan, and George. Number 24. Insights from various research studies reveal that Great Danes often see themselves as delightful lab dogs. This explains why they are often found cozily nestled on laps, happily enjoying moments of closeness and affection with their human companions. Number 25. Not only are Great Danes amazing lab dogs, but with their formidable size and innate loyalty, these gentle giants also make exceptional guard dogs. This tool nature showcases their versatility as they effortlessly transition from affectionate cuddle companions to vigilant protectors of their house and family. Number 26. In medieval times, Great Danes were valued not only as protectors, but also as safeguards against evil spirits and nightmares. During the Middle Ages, they freely patrolled their owners' estates, embodying a unique role in offering both physical and spiritual security. Number 27. Did you know that the famous Scooby-Doo is actually a Great Dane? Iwak Takamoto, the animation whiz behind the show, took inspiration from a Hanna-Barbera co-worker who raised Danes. He deliberately gave Scooby a charmingly imperfect look with a quirky tail, bow-legged stance, modest chin, and a gentle slope to his back. Number 28. Even with their laid-back energy, Great Danes are all about action. They shine in dog sports like agility, obedience, tracking, and fly ball. Number 29. Great Danes, originally bred as hunting dogs skilled in tracking and hunting boars, have a strong inclination to follow intriguing scents. So for safety, you always gotta keep your pup on a leash during walks to prevent them from following alluring smells and ensure their protection. Number 30. While not avid jumpers, Great Danes require a fenced yard at least 6 feet tall to prevent wandering. Number 31. Great Danes are born with floppy ears and long tails. Historically, their ears were cropped and tails docked for both functional and aesthetic reasons. Number 32. Ear cropping and tail docking are frequent in the US, but less in Europe. In places like the UK and Germany, these practices are restricted to licensed pets or banned together. Number 33. The popular comic strip character Marmaduke features a Great Dane. The comic highlights the humorous challenges and adventures that come with owning such a large and lovable dog. Number 34. Throughout history, Great Danes have been featured in various forms of art, including paintings, sculptures, and literature. Their majestic allure and captivating presence make them sought after subjects of choice for various forms of art. Number 35. Great Danes display a striking array of coat colors and markings, with five to six so acceptable hues. Those colors include fawn, brindle, black, harlequin, mantle, and blue as per the AKC standards. Number 36. Although five to six approved colors exist, Great Danes can sometimes have other shades like white, piebald, and different merles. However, these colors aren't allowed in confirmation shows due to potential health issues like vision and hearing problems in your Danes. Number 37. Great Danes typically live around eight to ten years, but some have even known to reach the impressive age of 12 or more. Number 38. Great Danes can form heartwarming connections beyond their own kind. In a touching example from 2010, a Great Dane named Judy and a goat named Manelli became as inseparable as a loving couple. They were taken to a shelter and later adopted along with their three-legged golden retriever friend, Lucky. Number 39. During the Second World War, a Great Dane named Just Nuisance was the only dog officially enlisted in the Royal Navy. His role was to boost troop morale. He left an enduring mark in Simon's Town, a charming Cape Town suburb, becoming a cherished symbol of unity and spirit. It. Number 40. Another Great Dane, Juliana, earned two Blue Cross medals. One was for extinguishing a bomb by urinating on it, and the other one for alerting authorities to a fire in her owner's store. Number 41. Great Danes have consistently played the role of the menacing hellhound in all film adaptations of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's The Hound of Baskervilles. Interestingly, the author never specified the breed of the dog in the original story. Number 42. In 1965, the Great Dane was designated as the state dog of Pennsylvania. Number 43. Before adopting Hawkeye as their mascot, the University of Iowa had Great Danes named Rex 1 and Rex 2 in the same role. Number 44. Great Danes are prone to wobbler disease. This impacts their vertebral column due to their rapid growth, potentially leading to weak legs. Treatment options include surgery or gradual natural recovery. At number 45, on October 24, 1975, Renka, a Great Dane owned by Norman Scott, was mistakenly shot during a failed attempt to assassinate Scott in the Thorpe Affair, a high-profile political scandal in the United Kingdom. In 1996, Scott Freeman and Barry Penrose published Renka Gate, Rise and Fall of Jeremy Thorpe, detailing the events. Alright guys, now let us know in the comments which of these facts you found to be most interesting. Thanks for watching.